Well, we have other news right now. There was a pride event that was interrupted in Woodland. A group caught on camera. There they are yelling slurs and hostile comments to those who were attending a drag show for adults. Police were already there because the business had gotten some threats before this group showed up. So far, no arrests have been made. KCRA 3's Michelle Bandur has been following the story. Michelle, police just shared an update with you. Well, they did, Lisa and Goldstein. Mojo's restaurant is back open for business, despite some staff telling me they're a bit shaken up today after last night's hateful confrontation. And as you said, the chief of police here in Woodland just released a message. He's also talking about why no one is in custody. And he also released some of the officer's body-worn camera video that happened during a pepper spray incident. This police video shows the moment when a member of the angry group tried to get into the restaurant. Witnesses say the man was asking if children were inside the business during the Pride event. At least three officers were hit with pepper spray, and as you can see, they backed away. Now, police say someone from inside the restaurant used the pepper spray. Mojo's owner says most everyone inside the lounge and the restaurant took in the effects of that pepper spray. Now, before the incident, as we said, a hostile group of about a half a dozen men stood across the street, using Using a bullhorn, using profanity and derogatory comments. This lasted almost an hour. And again, police were already here, staging a perimeter, they said, due to the social media threats, which caused the owner to cancel the event. But then the community rallied around her and she went ahead with a smaller celebration. Police Chief Derek Carr has a message to those who came into his community last night. Your hateful messages and actions are not welcome in our community. Woodland and your police department celebrate and respect people from all walks of life. Our strength is our diversity and our ability to embrace every member of our community. Well, the chief says they are working with the FBI and they have filed for search warrants to find out who wrote those online social media threats. They're also investigating the group that showed up here last night to see if any uh, what charges could be filed here. Mojo's owner tells us she wants the man who tried to force himself into her lounge and restaurant to be in custody. Reporting live in Woodland, Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News. And, and Michelle, are police investigating this as a hate crime? Well, the Woodland Police Chief did actually read the definition of California's hate crime law, and he says they are pursuing all avenues and take this incident very seriously. Back to you. All right, Michelle, thanks for that update there. We'll